Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. Today, you all, let's get into RuPaul's Drag Race. This is season 12. This is the premiere number two. So, we get to see the next six girls enter the workroom and do all that intro stuff. But before we get to see anything, there's this huge disclaimer of something about cherry pie. She admitted something and she is disqualified. She is off the show. She won't be at the reunion and she will not be at the finale that usually tapes sometime in the spring. So when I saw that, because I recorded this last night and I didn't have a chance to watch it last night. I was at a track meet. So when I saw it, I was like, what's going on with Cherry Sherry Pie? What did she admit to doing? So I got to Instagram, I got to the Google, and I saw Jake Yonsei. He had a one hour and 45 minute video on explaining why Sherry Pie got disqualified. And right then I said, I don't have time. I don't have time to watch this. What is the short version? So I started scrolling through Instagram and I saw that um, she's a part of the Me Too movement. She's done something with sexual harassment or sexual assault. I could not figure out what the real reason was, but I'm assuming it must be really serious for Rue to kick her off the show. I think she's only the second person out of all the seasons that's ever been disqualified, and she admitted to it. So whatever she did, she said I did it, and I don't, did she apologize? I don't know. You all get in the comments. Let me know what Sherry did because I'm curious. And in a lot of the comments on Instagram, everyone was like, well, disqualify Britta too. It's like her name, Brita, Britta. And I was like, well, what did Britta do? Like, she didn't get disqualified. Why y'all trying to disqualify her too? So I'm, I'm very curious. I want to know what's going on. Get in the comments and let me know. But as I'm watching the show and you get this disclaimer that she's disqualified, I'm looked at Instagram and I see she's a part of the Me Too movement. I'm I'm judging. I'm like, I don't want the season to be overshadowed by someone else's mistake because it's so many queens this season that I've already fallen in love with. I do want... I am going to watch the season. I am going to continue to review the season. But I don't like it. Once once I get a sour taste in my mouth towards someone, I don't know how to review fairly. I'm always going to look at Sherry like, mm, it's Sherry, whatever. I don't care. She could be one of the best queens. I mean, y'all done got on Instagram. Spoiler. Spoiler right now. If you don't know, I'm about to say something you may not know, and it may not be true, but everyone has got on Instagram saying that Sherry does very well this season. It's rumored she's gonna, or she was gonna be in the top four, so she was gonna be at that finale episode. And so, if all of that is true, as I'm watching the season, it's just gonna piss me off knowing that someone who's disqualified is taking the spot of someone who should have been in the finale. True enough, she's disqualified. She won't be in the finale, but I wish we could know this information about people before they get picked, but I understand it's a huge secret of casting, and sometimes we may not know who's on the show until they reveal, and then if they did something against someone, people may start to speak out at that time, but the show is already taped. But I said that I'm talking about Sherry way too much. I don't care about Sherry anymore. Um, I hope she gets help for whatever she did. And I hope she's sorry for whatever she did. And at least she admitted to it because most people are lying. Let's get on to um, what I thought about this episode. Off top, <laughs> off top because I've already watched it. This episode is blah compared to last week with Nicki Minaj. Like... I like Thandi Newton. I don't know this lady, Robin. I'm sure she's an excellent entertainer. But they are not Nicki Minaj. So if I was the last six queens to enter the premiere and I find out the week before everyone got to see Nicki, I'm pissed. I'm jealous off top. 
because you can't compare a rap routine with Nikki to this Fosse thing they had to do with Thandy and Robin. It just, you can't compare it. It was boring compared. I wish, I wish this season, since you got Nicki Minaj this season, everyone would have got to meet Nicki and move on. But it is what it is. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the looks. Now, this week, I am not going to flash that iPad <laughs> with the um pictures because it's just a glary mess. I watched my video last week. We Y'all watched it. Y'all know what they had on. So, I'm going to give you a yes, ma'am, or a no, ma'am. Let's start with Rockham Sakura. Off top, I don't like her name. It's a tongue twister to me. I'm probably just going to call her Rockham. I like Rockham by itself. She is Trixie number three. We already have old girl from last week who looked like a clown. I don't remember. Crystal. She Trixie number two. So now we have Trixie number three. A lot of people are comparing her to Kim Chi. But once I see all that white under the eyes, it reminds me of Trixie. We already have a Trixie. We already have a Kim Chi. I know people can still do that style of drag. It's not unique to just them. But I didn't like it on them, so <laughs> I don't like it on Crystal or Rockham. Why was Rockham rolling all over the floor? Her outfit was a no ma'am. It was just a white leotard with pink ruffles and a bright pink wig. It was a no ma'am. Um, Dahlia Sin. I think I'm going to like Dahlia Sin. She says, I'm here to take your man. Okay, girl, not my man, but okay. Um, <laughs> but her outfit was a no ma'am. It wasn't no ma'am. Her entrance outfit wasn't no ma'am. I didn't like that acid watch denim with the change, chains and sequins. And it didn't look like it fit well when she took the outfit off in the back, that corset. And I didn't like it. It was just me. The wig was kind of flat and kind of waxy looking. I just, I didn't like it. She's Asia's daughter. I love Asia. So... I think she can turn it. I think she's going to be a good queen for the show. Next, we see Sherry Pie. Now, I already told you, I don't know how to judge fairly. If I already know in the back of my mind, you did something that I'm totally against. Sexual assault, I'm totally against. I don't know exactly how she assaulted someone, but she admitted to doing it. So, she did it. And um, the outfit on top was a no ma'am. I know there's campy queens. Some campy queens I like. That just wasn't, a, I wasn't a fan of her pie-shaped shell outfit with the big flur spin around tool on the, I just didn't like it. It was a no ma'am. And I'm all, I'm automatically going to have a no ma'am in the back of my mind every time I see her on the screen. So let's move on. Jan, I like Jan. I like her basketball theme, purple outfit. It was something in the breast area I didn't like. It looked like she had on a breast, what do they call it, contour on her chest. And something in the front made her like strapless outfit stick out like she had breasts. And then you just saw the contour on the chest. But it looked just all hollow right there. It was like a huge gap. That threw me off. It turned me off. But the outfit of a whole, I like. I wish she would have had on the fake breast that actually would have filled out the dress and not just made it look pushed out. So she just gets a ma'am. It's not a no ma'am because I like it, but it can't be a yes ma'am because it didn't fit correctly in the boob area. Next is Jada Essence Hall. Jada, Jada is going to be my favorite, I think. She got a capitalized, yes, ma'am. I said the color. That was the most beautiful turquoise colored dress. The makeup. That face was beat down perfectly. It was nothing. Nothing about her face was could be critiqued. What is the word? Critiqued by Michelle Visage amazing the the dress she designed and made the dress herself love it her hair was perfect i said she is going to be a looks queen i cannot wait for her to get with nikki doll 
with Gigi, with um Jackie. I think Jackie's going to be a looks queen as well. I can't wait to see them all get together and go at it every week. I can't wait. Jada dressed everyone from premiere number one to premiere number two she was best dressed and she got a capitalized yes ma'am miss jada okay next was aiden zane he automatically a no ma'am automatically a no ma'am she claims to be a spooky queen i don't care about that because i liked um alaska's boyfriend what was his name sharon needles i liked her I liked Evie. I loved Evie Oddly. I don't mind an off-character spooky queen. I actually enjoy queens that do things a little bit off-character with a twist. But I don't think I'm ever going to get into that all white. I mean, this color white makeup. I'm, I, I don't think I'm ever going to get into it. I don't like the way she contours. I don't like that eyeshadow. But... That was just her entrance looks. Her looks are no ma'am. But I think Aiden is going to be a sleeper. I think she's talented. She really shocked me in the Fosse routine. But we're going to get there. So the mini challenge is the same. Rue came in. Hey, girl. They done already had, or what they said, we've already had Arzuses, whatever she, um, Widow wrote on that window. <clears throat> and so Rue was in. It's like, okay, it's y'all turn. Y'all do the spring and fall fashion show. So let's get into the fashions real quick. First up was Rockham. She had on an anime, very colorful blue, pink, orange, yellow outfit. And it was kind of like an um, oversized skirt, but the suspenders kind of made it kind of look boxy and wish-washy when you walk. I love that. I said I would wear that, but I don't like the flaps that were flying in the back as she walked and she flung them around. I didn't like the wing flaps, but I did appreciate that she drew and designed that herself. So she got a yes ma'am, I liked it. Next was Dahlia, oh Dahlia. <laughs> Why didn't you wear something like this in the entrance? Cause that's our first opinion of you. Dahlia Sin turned that spring look. That neon green, was that latex? with the feathered off the shoulder and then the feather underneath the mini part, the silhouette was banging her, padding was banging, her face was beat down. Dahlia, that was a yes ma'am. A yes ma'am, and I wish you would've did something like that when you first came onto the show. Sherry Pie, she had on a blue dress. It had like glittery fringe along the side and instead of it being a true sweetheart dress and all of this naked on the top. She had that mesh flesh colored stocking on top to give the illusion. But the illusion mesh on the top to me seemed too big. So because the top part didn't fit right for me, but I it, I did enjoy the dress. She just got a ma'am. It wasn't a yes or a no, but it was a ma'am. It was a good try. Next was Jan. Jan came out with a Marie Antoinette-like mini dress character look. Jan also just got a ma'am because to me, Raja did that first. And no, people have done it since Raja, but no one has done it to that level for me. Like, no one has topped it. So if you can't top what I've seen before, leave it alone. Like, don't come in with something someone has already done before and it's not to that level or above. It was a good try, Jam, but it was just a ma'am. Jada Fashion. Fashion. Jada, that dress right there, I wish, I know she made it. I wish you made it in my size. Put it over there at the Lane Bryant and I will buy it. I will buy it today. I love that peplum top with the matching peplum skirt with the flounce on the bottom. It had the sheer cutouts across the breast and across the thighs just to make your silhouette look slimmer it was definitely a yes ma'am it was it's something that i would put on a nice little sweater and wear to church tomorrow i jada i mean 
I don't even think this your best. I think you, I don't think this is anyone's best. I think they're just pulling little stuff out for the mini challenge. I can't wait to see what else Jada has in these bags that she brought to the drag race. Like, Rue, I want Jada just to stay so I can see her looks. <sighs> Aiden was last. It's not fair for him to go last because uh, it was a no ma'am. The dress, I understood the raindrop spring theme. That headpiece was definitely a no ma'am. The dress was okay, but I didn't like the three little raindrops you just stuck on it. The boots were a totally different color yellow, so that was a no ma'am. The only thing I liked was the elbow length gloves. You, I, I love a good glove. Moving on to the fall looks. Rockham had on, she said it was an all felt mermaid style dress. She was covered head to toe and light blue with orange fish covering her body. It was a no man for me, I didn't like it. I didn't like the fully covered silhouette with the matching hat. I wish it would have been at least sleeveless or maybe if it was gonna be full sleeve, the back could have been out. I know maybe the way these ladies pad, you can't really do everything you would like to see in fashion, but I just, it was a no man for me. Dahlia Sin, she got a capital yes ma'am. That black fur hooded sheer, sheer fur, sheer fur, sheer fur dress, Dahlia, I wish I could wear that. The way that hood framed your face, I know y'all were all wearing the same makeup all day. And I said earlier, your makeup was a no ma'am. The way this hood framed your face, flawless. The little bitty baby hairs, flawless. I mean, that could have been in a magazine today. And I would still be like, ugh, amazing. That was a yes ma'am, Miss, Miss Dahlia. Please continue to step up the looks. Please continue to step them up. Sherry, this one was a yes ma'am, Sherry. I did like the black sequence fringe lace little sleeveless dress her padding is off for me i don't like the way she pads to me her hips are way too big and her body is not that big sherry is not that big of a girl she's not really to me she's not big at all it was kind of funeral-esque i didn't like the accessories like the gloves and the hat it looked very my husband just died but I appreciated the dress, so I gave her a yes, ma'am. Who's next? Jan. I like this look better, Jan. It was a full green croc leather, maybe faux leather, trench jacket. And when you opened it, it had a matching trench. Not trench, but faux green leather croc dress with thigh-high black boots. Them boots was banging. I love the boots. Those were a yes, ma'am. I wish Jan would wear the fake boobs that some of the ladies do. I don't really like, if you're going to do the flat chest, just do the flat chest. But I don't like when they draw on oversized boobs on a flat chest. It, the illusion doesn't work for me. That's just me. But she still got a yes, ma'am. Jada turned it out yet again like like we knew she would like we knew she would jada had on head to toe and i mean head she had on a little bolero french hat like not as dramatic as nikki dolls but a little french purple hat head to toe baby lilac purple that's one of my favorite colors period and I mean, just from that fur, puffy fur crop jacket with the just simple, sleek lilac blouse, those pants were tailored to the T to her body. Amazing, Jada. It's just amazing. Did she say she had a fashion line? Like, I would buy some of them clothes. Amazing. And, um,. Aiden, it, it was a head to toe, no ma'am. What did you have on? What did Michelle say? It looked like you got on your tea kettle clothes. <laughs> it was a no ma'am. 
it the colors were awful and i know you said you like to take ugly things and make them look beautiful but that outfit was just ugly and it was just a leotard it was just a black swimming suit i agree with rude the tuck was very meaty and the colors it moving on moving on so now everyone's out of drag rue comes into the workroom and tells them this is your challenge you're gonna do a falsy is it falsy y'all a falsy routine and they had to kind of let me know because i don't know what falsy is and they compared it to the broadway show chicago and it's kind of jazzy jazz hands all that good stuff okay cool i mean it doesn't beat nikki um nothing's gonna beat nikki so we're at the rehearsal everyone is you know writing their lines at the rehearsal we get a little bit of drama miss jada is the drama queen for her to have done so well in the challenge she is I mean, some people do pick up choreography slow, but it didn't look like she should be causing all this drama. Now, in the beginning, she did say, let's keep it simple. They didn't want to. They wanted to do a little bit of choreography, whatever. They argued the last 10 minutes of their practice time because Jada was upset that Sherry came in and said, let's keep it simple. And she was like, I said that 30 minutes ago, and now we done wasted all our time. And in my opinion, ain't Jada, we didn't need all that. Sometimes, sometimes when you recognize things, it doesn't have to be vocalized. Like, okay, yes, they didn't listen to your opinion in the beginning, but now they are listening to it now. We don't need to waste 30 minutes of arguing about them not listening to you 30 minutes ago. And I know we needed a flair for the show or whatever, but this is, y'all didn't know nobody was going home this week. <laughs> y'all did not know that. Okay, moving on. In the mirror moment, they're getting ready for the next day. They're getting ready for a challenge. And Rockham is talking about her mom was addicted to crystal meth. She's very emotional. She feels like, cause somehow Rockham got voted the choreographer of the challenge, but I could have swore she said she wasn't a dancer. Like, I don't see why Sherry or Jan didn't take the lead on this from the beginning, but she felt responsible for the arguing and the wasting of the time because she was in charge. And she realized that since she was little, her mother said, I'm on drugs because of you kids. Y'all making me want to use crystal meth as a child it could screw you up because you don't have the maturity of the brain to understand that this is just from a person on drugs like it's not true it's that statement what your mother was saying is not true but as a child you will take that to heart because my mom is saying this about me so it's a trigger for her when she's in charge she doesn't i forgot how she said it but she cried Everyone came, gave her some love. We're your family now. And at the end of it, she pulled out down the pants and showed her ass. So moving on to the challenge. I thought everyone did well. Um, the only one who was a little bit lazy in the performance was Dahlia. Dahlia, I need for you to pick that up. Even, like I said, Jada surprised me because she did very well. <laughs> that leotard like we know leotards are leotards but just her fringe looked expensive like jada whatever she does she puts it together and she looks like a million dollars and it probably could have cost five but she looked so good and of course jan and sherry the theater broadway queens turned it they did the best but I mean, Aiden surprised, surprised me. For someone, you know, when he first came in the show, he says he lives an hour away from Atlanta and he's currently not even performing drag. Like, he doesn't get to do it on a regular basis. I was really expecting Aiden to be, he's going to be the, or she, I don't, forgive me, but I expected Aiden to be the first one out the door. Like, <laughs> he's 
filler queen is what they call him. Filler queen. But he's surprised, like, he, he was one of the best ones. One of the best ones in that performance. Definitely very theatrical. I see him doing very well in the acting challenges. But let's move on to this runway show. I already told y'all, Thandy Newton, you know, from Beloved and some other good movies. And some lady named Robin, I'm assuming she's a vocal entertainer, some kind of singer. I never heard of none of her music. The theme for the runway is Tool. <clears throat> Aiden came out. This look on Aiden was cute. It was a big green tool dress with a green matching green Leo tart under the knee. Same spooky makeup. I ain't gonna never like it. But his hair, I like the hair. And the hair, when he wear, they call it the little pussycat wigs. When he wears that makeup with the little pussycat wig, I don't like it. But with the long, like purplish hair, it looked nice. I he got a yes ma'am. Aiden got a yes ma'am on the runway. Dahlia. <laughs> Dahlia is gonna be turning looks. That red dress was everything. Everything. Pure fashion. Those boots, everything, Dahlia. Yes, she she's on the show to take you, man. Watch your man when Dahlia is around. Sexiness. Dahlia oozes. Is that how you say it? Oozes. Just her aura is sexy. I like Miss Dahlia. She definitely got a yes, ma'am. Jada, hands down, a yes, ma'am. She looked like a fluffy yellow cupcake. Ross said it looked like butter. It just flounced as she walked. She knows how, Jada knows how to walk. Face was continuously beat. Yes. Yes, please bring all these ladies together because on this sh on these six, Jada has no competition. I mean, it's sad to say, but this second premiere, when it came to looks, Jada has no competition. She turned it. Dahlia was a close second, but too far away. <laughs> it wasn't even a close second. It was just second. Let's move on to Jan. I like Jan. I love a queen who gets the theme and doesn't want to go the route that she thinks everyone else will go. Jan used the word tool and interpreted it as T-O-O-L, like tool. And she came out there with what looks like an all-tool construction worker outfit. It was banging, Jan. It was banging, but her hair and her makeup... Her face was beat down. I love the way she blended that orange with the green. I'm going to have to practice that and come up with a look. I love that blonde wig with the side pony. Jen looked good. She definitely got a yes ma'am, but she stumped me when she put that wrench all the way down her throat and her mouth. That was nasty. That was nasty with all these germs going around. You done flung that wrench around them light bulbs. People been walking there. I would have never put that in my mouth. But it's your mouth, girl. <clears throat> Moving on. Rock'em, I have mixed feelings. Because <sighs> I don't like that anime Trixie look. I just don't like it. But her dress, yes, it was 10 sizes too big. But to me, it was a fashion moment. Like, I understood it for fashion. But I don't think she was doing it for fashion. I think she was doing it... For fluff. Either way, for the fashion, Rock'em, you get a yes, ma'am. For the fashion of it, you get a yes, ma'am. Cherry Pie came out there with that raindrop look. Now, now she didn't know what Aiden had, but Aiden just did that in the spring. It wasn't tool, but she done already put the raindrops all over her dress. So, I've already seen that. And then who did that before? Detox or Milk? Somebody did it when they did like a fish challenge and they came out like a jellyfish. And Michelle Visage then read them. Said, we can't see no body in that jellyfish looking outfit. And But then when Sherry Pie did it, it was fashion. No, ma'am. That was a no, ma'am for me, Sherry. One, because we just seen Aiden put the raindrops on her dress in the spring. Now, you ain't know what Aiden put in her bag, but we just seen the raindrops. And we saw Detox or Milk do it. I don't remember which queen it was, but we saw somebody else do it as a jellyfish. 
And Michelle said it was a no ma'am them, so it's a no ma'am now. So all the queens got their critiques. Everyone, I think, did well. They did tell Aiden about her meaty tuck, and they told Dahlia about her energy. She got to get her head in the game and turn it, because you already turning looks. Turn these performances. So, of course, we know from last week, there is no bottom two. It's a top two. They put Jada and Sherry in the top two. I think that's fair because Jada turned the looks and she did great in the performance. So, okay, Jada deserves a top, a top position. Sherry was not really turning looks, but she did turn the performance. And mind you, I already got a bad taste in my mouth for Sherry. I probably would have gave it to Jan because Jan was turning looks and performance. Okay, I'm just going to roll with Sherry and Jada. They did good, but Jan did equally as good as well. So let's talk real quick about who do we think should have been in the bottom two if they were going to have a bottom two. Now, off top, Aiden gets to go down there. Aiden gets to go down there because all of her looks were a no ma'am. I mean, she she barely squeaked by to a ma'am or a yes ma'am with that green tool. But everything else was a no ma'am. And compared to Jada, Jan, and Sherry, she was just a ma'am in the um, performance. So she's she had the lip sync for her life. Now, between Jan is safe, Rockham, I mean, she, Rockham in the performance was doing too much. She was not following. So, it would be between Dahlia and Rockham. Let me give a reason for both. In the performance, Rockham was not doing Fosse. She was just doing overacting in every scene and trying to just be comedic. Even when they were just transitioning through in other people's turn like she was doing too much she wasn't following the theme of the challenge so rockham could go in the bottom for that but then dahlia no dahlia is safe because dahlia turned looks her energy was low in the challenge but at least she turned looks rockham was off in both so it would to me rockham and Aiden would have been in the bottom too now let's get to this lip sync for your legacy to me it was no competition I don't, like I said earlier, a spoiler. They said, rumored on Instagram, that Sherry makes it to the finale. We already know she disqualified, but she, I don't know what they're going to do. Or even if that statement is true. But they say Sherry does good in the competition. I'm going to assume Sherry never has to lip sync for her life because she, that lip sync was a no ma'am. If somebody had to go home, Sherry would have been home day one, and we wouldn't even have to worry about this disclaimer because she would be gone. She would be gone. Like, Jada turned it. Now, she was, I don't think Jada's going to be a lip sync assassin like Widow or um, Miss Heidi. Miss Heidi is going to be an assassin on the lip syncs. But Jada still turned it. Sh sh Jada did good. She could be a lip sync assassin a little bit. But um, it was an easy win. It was an easy $5,000 because Sherry didn't have, like, you were theater queen. She didn't even make it funny. Like, at least last week, um, Gigi isn't a dancing queen, but at least she made her lip sync funny. Congratulations, Jada girl. I cannot wait to see all the queens come together. I cannot wait to see this competition competition really start with all the ladies. I'm so excited for this season. I'm excited for every Drag Race season. I really, 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 really hate there's a dark cloud over this season. And I just hope we don't turn into having to talk about Sherry every week where it overshadows the talent of everyone else. Like, I personally wish I could just not talk about Sherry but we're going to go on with the season. VH1 is going on with the season. I love Drag Race so much. I'm going to do my best not to mention 
Sherry's negativity because I don't want it to, the negativity to overpower everyone else's talent and opportunity because Drag Race is their opportunity to advance their careers in drag. So I didn't watch Untucked, y'all, because... I mean, to me, untucked in the beginning, these ladies don't really know each other. They really don't have no beef. They really don't have anything to truly discuss. So, like, last week's untucked, like, it wasn't nobody to read Nikki and be like, why you hate my face, Nikki? <laughs> so, untucked, in, it, I didn't think it was going to give, so I ain't watch it. So, all right, y'all, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. You know your girl, Angie, Kiss My Cheeks TV. We're going to be reviewing that Drag Race weekly. I can't wait to see it. And um, go ahead, get in the comments. Let me know what you thought about everyone's looks. Let me know what you think about this Sherry Pie situation. Let me know some more details because I don't want to have to go on Jake Yonsei's page and watch an hour and 45 minutes to figure out what's going on with Sherry. Drop me the cliff notes in the comments. All right, y'all. Have a good weekend, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.